guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Sha and this is Thoroughly Enjoyed Books. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm doing a video that has been requested a lot, that I've tried filming a lot. I've actually tried filming this video about four or five times and I just can't get it right. I just have no idea how to film this but it is finally my tattoo tour something that a lot of you probably don't know about me is that i actually have quite a few tattoos now i have 11 in total and a lot of them are quite big colorful pieces you see two quite regularly you see the two that i have on my wrists but they're on the insides of my wrists so they're still quite difficult for you to see sometimes so they're not always visible however i have got a lot more than that i've got as i said 11 in total and I'm just going to do a tour of my body <laughs> so you can see what tattoos I currently have. I'm going to explain to you who the artist is, when I got them, why I got them and what the pain threshold was. I'm going to rank that on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being didn't feel a thing and 10 being oh my god I'm going to die. Let's just get right into it. I think I'll do them in order of when I got them. So this is my tattoo tour. So the first tattoo I ever got was actually this elephant here. I got this back in May 2017 and it was the first tattoo obviously I ever got. The artist is Ashley Luca and I will leave a link to her Instagram down below. She is my favourite tattoo artist and most of my colour pieces are actually by her. I think all of my colour pieces except one are by her. I won't go into too much detail about what this means but basically this is a very personal tattoo and it is a tribute to my mum and it is a baby elephant surrounded by forget-me-nots. It basically means don't forget your childhood and where you come from and I got this on the anniversary of a big event in my life and with my family. A really important tattoo for me and my first one and obviously elephants are like my favourite animal in the world so that is what that one means. And honestly despite this being my first First tattoo I didn't find it very painful at all I would probably give it about a four on the pain scale it obviously hurt a little bit but it just got a bit irritating after a while the second tattoo then was actually the B just above my knee yes I did get a bee's knees tattoo this is basically a tattoo about confidence I got this to remind me that no matter what I have the confidence to do what I want I'm the bee's knees I'm the boss I'm in control of my own life and destiny and the artist for this is Kev Richard I believe he now has a private tattoo studio so again I'll leave a link to that down below. This again was really not painful at all. This was less painful than the elephant probably because it took less time and I would probably rate this maybe a three on the pain scale. Again more irritating than painful and I think the healing process was more painful than this one. Then the third tattoo I returned to Ashley Luca. She now works at the Bros Heart Tattoo Studio in Birmingham so I travelled to get this one. This is my Patronus tattoo. This is my only book tattoo I think and obviously it's a Harry Potter tattoo. Despite all the issues with JK Rowling I still love Harry Potter. It still means a lot to me and this is actually my depression tattoo. So it is a Patronus of a cat. As you know Patronuses are used to fight off the Dementors which are already a metaphor for depression so this is about the fight I have had against my mental health so my depression and my bipolar disorder as you're all aware I have lived with. The cat on it is actually really important as well though because this is actually a tattoo of my cat who we lost a long time ago Troy and my family say it doesn't really look like her but obviously it has to be distorted to be blue and it's more her belly than her markings so it's not going to look exactly like her but i know it is her basically she was a tortoise shell cat that we lost so i did the pottermore quiz for the patronus and actually it came out as a tortoise shell cat and they say that your patronus is representative of something really close to your heart and my pet cats are really close to my heart. I love cats. I can't wait to get a cat of my own. So that is what this tattoo it means. And again the pain on this was barely there. It was about a four again. Ashley's quite well known for being quite brutal <laughs> with her tattoos which I will get on to with some of my others but again this one did not hurt. Then we come to this tattoo. This is my most visible tattoo. This is the one most people see. This is my princess Leia tattoo. Despite what people think it is actually complete. I wanted a minimalist style for this and this is Rex also from Bodycraft so I'll leave a link to him down below. This was the easiest tattoo, it took 20 minutes, it didn't hurt at all, probably a two because obviously you can feel it, two on the pain threshold and I got this as my strong independent woman tattoo. I actually got this the day before I moved to Leicester. I moved to Leicester 
for work, but it was also following a big breakup. That is why I moved from Nottingham to Leicester rather than just commuted. So I got this the day before I started my job in Leicester, just to remind me that I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't need a man. I can do anything that I put my mind to myself. And obviously it's Princess Leia. I love Star Wars and I love Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher, Carrie Fisher lived with bipolar disorder as well. So she is such an important figure in my life. So that's what that one means. Then it gets a bit muddy about what my next ones were. I think next one I got was this little coat hanger on my arm, obviously. This is a very dark humor tattoo. So basically right in the middle of my coat hanger is a implant scar. And when I was getting my implant removed, they were very adamant to put another one in, even though, long story, the implant sent me absolutely wacky. So this is a bit of a dark humour about contraception. That's all I'll say on that one. <laughs> this is by Shay at Bunraku in Leicester. He does all my small ones that I get locally. The pain on this was actually quite painful. I would say this is about a five, even though it's my smallest tattoo and it took five minutes. It was the most painful tattoo I'd got by this point. The next one I got was this little animals in a terrarium bauble vial type thing, however you want to describe it. This was done by Sarah Whitehouse in Manchester. So I traveled for this one. I actually kind of regret the placement of this one. I love the tattoo, but I just don't think that it goes with the rest of the leg, but it's still really cute. And once it's all filled up, then you probably won't even be able to tell the difference. Because my legs are so heavily colored, the fact that it's quite light black and white is a bit out of place. So this is a hedgehog and a snail on a mushroom. The snail does have a face, if you can see it, a smiley face. And I just think that this is so cute. This one basically represents the fact that I'm from up north, I'm from the countryside, and that part of me will never go anywhere. I will always have that part of me inside me, even now that I've moved away and live in cities. Next tattoo is actually this one on my ribs that says, we got this. I actually got this with a friend and I don't really speak to this friend much anymore. We didn't have a big falling out. We just kind of drifted apart and now don't talk, but this still means a lot to me. So it says, we got this and they got a matching one on their collarbone. And basically this is just a reminder that no matter again on what we've been through, we can get through it. Me and this friend used to always say to each other, we got this when we were stressed and depressed and going through really tough times either personally or with work it's just a really important tattoo in that regard this again was by Shay from Bunraku I still love it there's a few blowouts but obviously that's because it's on my ribs and this did not hurt at all this was my least painful tattoo this was about a two <laughs> again obviously I could feel it pinching but didn't hurt really next I got this biggest piece this is my witch tattoo this was also by Ashley. As you can tell, it's huge. <laughs> it's a full thigh piece. And this was actually designed to be like a very small flash piece, probably the size of my Princess Leia. But I loved it so much that I wanted the full piece. There's no real meaning behind this one other than I absolutely just loved the design. I called the witch Penelope. I just thought it was a name that suited her. And as you can see, we have a moon and stars. We've got a rose and crystals. It's right next to my Patronus tattoo, so this is kind of like my magical leg. If I was to attribute any meaning to it, it would be that there's magic in all of us and this is the reminder that there's magic in me. She's got red hair, so some people have thought she's a tattoo version of me. She's not, because if it was me, she'd have orange hair. I love her, I think she's great. She was so fucking painful though, I would give this one a nine out of 10, maybe an eight. I nearly tapped out twice, I had to lie down and just have a break and have some sugar because it was so painful and I've never known anything like it. This is my biggest piece. It took six hours. This was the first tattoo I actually had to get touched up as well because of where she is. And I have a habit of getting big tattoos in winter time. They're like my birthday present to myself. I have to wear trousers. And obviously when a tattoo this big is healing, it gets really scabby and wearing trousers just ain't good. So there were a few scabs that came off and drew the colour out, but I have had her touched up since then. This tattoo here. Now this is a Stranger Things tattoo. It's a walkie-talkie surrounded by fairy lights and it says 353 days in this speech bubble here. Stranger Things is one of my absolute all-time favourite things. I absolutely adore it. I re-watch it whenever I'm feeling down. It is my comfort show. I wanted something to replicate that. The 353 days is my favourite scene in the second series when Eleven and Mike are reunited 
and the walkie-talkie is obviously such a massive symbol and the fairy lights are a huge symbol but what the walkie-talkie and the words mean to me is about communication and keeping in touch with the people that you love because i live 230 miles away from all of my family i have to keep in touch with them regularly and this is just a reminder to keep in touch with them and to always message them the artist for this one was hannah from the black art tattoo collective in rugeley which is near birmingham way and it was one of my more painful ones i'd say this was maybe a four the next tattoo i have is this one this says fearless so this is my taylor swift tattoo i love this tattoo a lot i got this last year when i had my worst episode of depression in a really long time as you know i have bipolar disorder and i struggle and i struggled last year and i got this during that struggle this had always actually been intended to be my first tattoo i just never got around to it and by the time I'd had a few others, I started to think that this was tacky. However, I now absolutely love it. I got it at the perfect time. It means so much to me. I still think it's really tacky. I call this my tackiest tattoo. I love it. It means so much to me. It's obviously a word similar to my Princess Leia one. That just reminds me I can get through things. I'm strong, I'm fearless, I'm independent. And no matter what I go through, I can get through it. So it's on my wrist, so I see it every day. This was again by Shay from Bunraku and it was not painful at all. It was probably about three. Okay, so now we're on to my last tattoo, my most recent tattoo, and this is my giraffe. This is again by Ashley. I told you most of my colour ones are by her. I love her, she's my favourite artist. This is my giraffe. I got this as a tribute to my dad. It's my dad's favourite animal. Surrounded by purple flowers, purple and pink flowers. Mine are my dad's favourite colours. That's all it is really. I just think giraffes are beautiful. I had a tribute to my mum, so I needed a tribute for my dad. And this hurt like hell. It was slightly less painful than the witch, only for the fact that I didn't nearly pass out. But it was still horrific so i would say this was probably a seven or an eight it does need a few touch-ups but i did get this in january and i was due for some touch-ups in march and april but obviously lockdown happened so i couldn't get them when lockdown is over i will go back for some touch-ups and i will probably get another tattoo from her around then i love this tattoo this is just a beautiful giraffe and giraffes are also my artist's favorite animal so she was really excited to do it so those are all of my tattoos a few more than you probably thought aren't they probably a bit bigger than you thought i do think i'm starting to come across a little bit more alternative recently like with my hair and everything but i'm still a really girly girl and i'm kind of merging those two sides of me together it's a really odd mix i'm, I'm very aware i love my bright colors and i love my oddities but i'm also very much a floral girly girl <laughs> and i love my video games it's odd i've got a strange personality and you know what it makes decorating so hard because i want to have the kookiness but i also want the like natural girliness anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not gonna ask for your opinions on them because they're on my body for life so if you're mean about them you're just gonna make me insecure but i know a lot of you wanted to see this video and i finally got around to doing it and i think i've now done it in a way that actually works hope you enjoyed it as usual i'll leave all my links in the description box down below go and follow me on twitter and goodreads and all of that good stuff and i'll see you in another video very very soon take care bye